Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can um, get a notification whenever we post our tutorials. Now today we are going to talk about uh, how to make a balloon game, a balloon pop game. So first of all we are going to start with changing the sprite. This is the sprite. So by default uh, scratch wheel um, will have uh, the, 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 the cuts is the default uh, sprite so i'm going to change you change or rather remove uh, the sprite from this end uh, say okay yes then you you can choose a sprite from this button so we need the balloon so i click on the balloon and now i'm going to call this balloon so that by the end of it all uh, you're going to um, be able to when you successfully click on the balloon then you you can earn some points so we're going to start with events when the green flag is meaning the balloon game will start when you click on the uh, green flag that you can see up here uh, then forever we get forever from control then so you notice that this far the balloon cannot do anything because there are no relevant codes that are assigned or blocks that can uh, give uh, instruction to this balloon to move. So we are going to uh, motion and get to go to random position. This one, when I click on the green flag, the balloon will quickly move to random position. But because it's a, or rather, since it's a, a balloon pop game, that one needs to catch up with the balloon and pop it. When it is moving this fast, you cannot uh, catch up with the fast moving balloon. So I need to make the motion of this balloon slow. So I go to control and choose the first block wait one second and there you're going to see the balloon moves at a pace that one can uh, catch up with and pop it so the next thing that you're going to do is to make the balloon uh, uh, like attractive yes and whoever is playing uh, your game will not uh, be bored so we can uh, go to looks so that we can make the balloon uh, keep on changing the color. So we'll check down here and you'll come to change color effect by 25. And you notice that every time when the balloon moves, it changes its colors. Um, that way. So we need now to come up with a different script. That's the first script is done. So the second script will start with events. Uh, when this sprite is clicked, the sprite being the balloon. So what should happen every time when you successfully click on the balloon? Uh, then you're going to sound, then say, start sound pop. And now you notice that when you successfully click on the balloon, it's going to produce the popping, like just like you can hear. When I click on it, it's producing the pop sound, like that. Yes. So now what we are left with is any points like when you click on the balloon you can hear the pop sound but you cannot you cannot um, earn any points so how do we do that we get variables so under variables uh, you're going to choose make a variable so here now you can um, you can type score Sometimes you'll find that on uh, Scratch, this window, you cannot edit this window. So what do you do? You can just uh, move your cursor on the, 
on the scratch icon on the taskbar then slowly move up and click on the small window here and there you go now you can edit so you can type score uh, say okay um, now you can see uh, up here we have uh, the score icon so when uh, you click on the balloon you can hear the pop sound but yet you cannot earn any point it's still at zero so how do we check the, uh, how do you change this uh, you come to change my variable by one so you move that there and then you're going to edit this block to read as change my when you click on the drop down button here you're going to see your variable the variable that you've just uh, created score so you click on that and now up here you're going to have the score at zero so now i'm going to click and now uh -huh. every time i successfully click on the balloon yes you can hear the pop sound at the same time you can earn points so when you continue uh, playing the game every time you click on the balloon you are getting more more points now the last bit of this uh, you can uh, choose a backdrop and you get a backdrop from this end so you look for any amazing uh, backdrop that will make your game attractive to whoever is playing it so you can uh, choose the race yes and now you can play this on a uh, full screen mode by clicking on this button here so now you can play the game yes okay okay So if you found this game um, or rather you found this tutorial interesting then you can click on the uh, subscribe you can subscribe so that you can get the upcoming um, videos thank you for now till next time bye bye